What made you first start speaking out and say, you know what, I can't be on the sidelines anymore. I, I have to say something here. Yeah, no. So the, the history with my sister, we were very, very close at one time. Um, we would travel together. We would visit on the holidays. It was the type of thing where I would finish her sentences on a daily call. And she'd when was that? Time. How old were you this then? This was in the 90s. This was in the mid 90s. And what happened was uh, the, the relationship started to fray uh, when she took a stand against gay marriage. And so she had experienced uh, my partner's, uh, my relationship with my partner of 12 years, who I ushered to death's door. And so when gay marriage came up, she took a stance of, no, we're just going to have to agree to disagree on this. And so I kind of pulled back a little bit from her. But then later on, I was uh, online uh, and I saw a blog of uh, something that she had done while she was at Dartmouth. So she was the editor of the Dartmouth Review, which is a conservative rag paper, she and Dinesh D'Souza. And it was uh, before technology, so there were no you know, phones, cell phones, or, you know, computers. But she sent her reporters in undercover, and they took the names of the people that were in that gay alliance meeting, and they published them in the paper. And in this blog that I read, it said that one kid actually committed suicide. Now, I, don't, I can't verify that, but when I saw that, I sent her an email and I said, Laura, is this true? And she wrote back, it was, it was legal language. I do not respond to blah, blah, blah. And so in my heart, I knew she was probably, she's guilty. And so that's when I really pulled away. And it was, of course, when uh, she went full-blown Trump, you know, in 2016, that I could not uh, stay quiet any longer. And I'm just kind of calling out hypocrisy as I see it her statements, her meanness, the way she's smearing people. She has a conscience. And unfortunately, that conscience is getting dimmer and dimmer as she, as she goes further in her career. But the type of behavior to continue to do what you know is wrong and inherently a lie, I think, isn't that, isn't that the definition of sociopath?